Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a draggable contact form for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it looks. We can see that we have this icon over here and if I click on that, we have the contact form displayed over here. And uh, if you click over here on this uh, area and if I drag, we can see that we can drag this contact form around the screen. And if I click on this uh, button once again, it disappears. And if I click on it again, it appears. So in this way, we can drag this contact form anywhere we want. And if I refresh this page and if I click on this button once again, the contact form is in the default place. So this is what we're going to design in this video series. And in this first video, we will just design it using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, I'll show you how to add the JavaScript to add the drag functionality. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> Right here I have opened up this folder called draggable contact form and I just opened it with VS code and here I also have a folder called images and in that we have this drag icon SVG which is uh, this icon right here. So let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's create a new file and I'll just name it index.html and let's create a CSS file. I'll just name it styler CSS and let's also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML file code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href I'll just type styler CSS. And here in the body I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just type script src and here I'll just type main.js. Right now let's start with the HTML of the draggable contact form. So let's create a division with the class of draggable contact form. And in that, the first thing we need to have is this icon right here. So for that, let's create a division and let's give it a class of drag icon. And in that, I'll just paste the SVG. So let's go to the images folder and let's go to the drag icon SVG and I'll just copy everything from here. And let's paste it inside our division. All right now, the next thing we need to have is uh, this heading right here. Now we will add the heading, these input fields and also this button inside a form. So let's create a form. And in that the first thing we will have is the heading. So let's create an S3 and let's give it a class of form title. And here I'll just type contact us. And the next thing we will have is an input field. And the type will be text and we will have a placeholder. So let's type placeholder and here I'll just type name. And the next thing we need to have is another input field with a type of text. And here we just have a placeholder called email. And the last thing we need to have is a text area because we need to have multiple lines of text. So let's type text area. And we can just remove these columns from here and I'll just set the rows to let's try five. And we'll also add a placeholder for this and let's type message. And the last thing we need to have is this button. So let's create an input with a type of submit and uh, we'll just add a value of send message. Right now the last thing we need to add is this icon right here. So for that we will use hero icons. So first of all let me just create a division and let's give it a class of contact icon. And let's go to heroicons.com and let's search for phone. And let's copy this SVG from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you have this extension installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see that all the elements are displayed over here. Now the next thing we need to do is add the CSS and make it look like this. So we have already added the link of CSS over here. So let's go to a styler CSS file and the first thing we will style is this contact icon. So here I'll just type contact icon. And uh, let's set the width and the height to 40 pixels. And let's set the position to fixed. And we'll set the bottom position to 40 pixels and the right position to 40 pixels. And let's add a background color. And let's add a hex value of 06 
91DF and uh, let's set the color of the icon to white. Let's add a padding of 10 pixels and uh, let's set the cursor to pointer and we'll also add rounded corners. We'll actually make it a perfect circle so I'll just add border radius and set it to 50%. Right now the next thing we will do is style this draggable contact form division right here. So let's type draggable contact form and we'll set a width of 240 pixels and let's set a height of 360 pixels and we'll set the background color to white and let's add a box shadow and let's set the values to 0, 8 pixels, 42 pixels, negative 11 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2 and let's set the font family to Roboto. And let's also set the position to Absolute and we'll set the right position to 40 pixels and the bottom position to 130 pixels. Right now let's style this drag icon. So let's go back to the index.html file and here we can see we have this division with the class of drag icon. So let's select that. Let's type draggable contact form drag icon and let's set a background color of 82B8FF and let's set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right and let's set a border radius of 10 pixels and now this icon is not exactly in the center so let's type display of flex and now everything looks all right. Right now let's style this form element inside the draggable contact form so here we can see we have this form. So let's style that. Here I'll just type draggable contact form, form. And let's set the display to flex. And let's set the flex direction to column. And let's set a padding of 16 pixels. And we will add a gap of 15 pixels between each of the elements. Right now let's style this heading. So for the heading we have a class of form title. So let's type draggable contact form, form, form title and let's set the font size to 20 pixels and let's set the margin to 0. Right now let's style these input fields. So let's type draggable contact form, form, input with the type of text and also the text area. So let's start draggable contact form, form, text area and let's set the font size to 16 pixels and uh, let's set a background color of EF, EF, EF and let's remove the border and uh, we'll also add a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right and let's also set the font family to Roboto. And we'll also remove this resize functionality in the text area. So let's target that. Let's type draggable contact form, form, text area. And let's type resize none. And now we don't have the option of resizing the text area. Right now the last thing we need to style is this button. Now let's go back to the HTML file and let's see the class for the button. And for the button we don't have any class so let's add a class. Let's add a class of send button. Alright, now let's style that. Let's type draggable contact form, form send btn. And let's set the background color to the same color right here. Let's remove the border and let's add a font size of 20 pixels. And let's set the font weight to bold. And let's set a padding of 12 pixels. And let's set the color of the text to white. And let's set the text transform to uppercase. And we'll also add a border radius of 10 pixels. Now we have already added a padding for the form. So the same padding is also applied to this button right here. But if you go back to the original design, we don't have a padding for the button. So what we have to do is add a negative margin with the same value of the padding. So here we can see we have a padding of 16 pixels. So let's add a negative margin of 16 pixels. 
So let's type margin. And for the top, I'll just set a margin of zero. And for the right, let's add a margin of negative 16 pixels. And the same for the bottom and the left. And now we can see we have the correct styling for the button. Let's also set the cursor to pointer. And everything looks all right. So that's basically it with the design of the draggable contact form. In the next video, I'll show you how to add JavaScript and add the drag functionality. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.